Today on Toy Shoes, we're still wondering, do you bleed? Let's talk toys. Welcome back everyone, Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today we're totally checking out the brand new McFarlane Toys, the Armored Batman from the comic book, The Dark Knight Returns. And of course, yes, this is part of their DC Multiverse line on the side of the box. Traditional packaging, Batman, The Dark Knight Returns, and on the back side, you get a couple cross cells, you get a nice photo of the figure, and here's the barcode. I picked mine up at Target, but they are starting to hit Walmart store shelves as well. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse, the Armored Batman, from Frank Miller's Batman, The Dark Knight Returns. And here's old Batman out of the packaging, and yeah, he's fairly comic book accurate. We'll just say, right off the bat, review over, if you just want to do this, looks like McFarlane himself drew the Dark Knight Returns' his armored suit. There you go. Bye-bye, everybody. Now, in case you're still wanting to stick around, he comes with extra hands, which is always a nice thing to see. So you get two of these, some grabby hands, right? And then you get a punching hand, and then you also get a weapon holding hand, but more on that in just a second you get the dc multiverse stand and you get a cool looking dark knight returns batman however it really does look like the comic book slash animated look mashed up with Zack snyder's batman versus superman movie which yeah you can see the textures are a lot more heavy which i do appreciate i like the look of this figure in terms of what it's based off of i like the little spikes on the feet it's nice they put peg holes on the bottom that's for sure he will have a heck of a time standing in some instances but the textures the look of the figure the sculpted details is there for days and i love the look of the cape the fabric piece is amazing it's plastic but it looks like a cloth cape in some instances and on the back side you can see everything is painted everything goes all the way around including all the nice sculpted details the face is cool it's overly designed in that sense that's why i'm saying like yes it looks like mcfarlane himself took frank miller's and then redesigned it to give it so much more textures in that sense articulation in the head is pretty good considering you have that little base at the neck that will probably hinder it but it doesn't you get some nice mobility out of him he does have butterfly joints the arms are a bit wonky in some aspects but they will rotate and twist and you can see the shoulder pads are fairly okay they work with you in the sense when you want to move him around he doesn't have the traditional bicep swivel unfortunately but he will rotate at the elbow and he has single jointed elbows if you're a stickler for that it's not the best i will say but you do get some nice wrist articulation and rotation out of him there's not much of an ab crunch he will move he will rock you'll get some movement out of him but for the most part it's better left at the waist. That's where you'll get the most mobility. He will kick out in a way, but you see these armored pieces will hit him right there at the hips and the belt, but you can kick out and kick back. He's got some double jointed knees, which allow for some good posability. And I like the way the feet are, as clunky and as heavy as they are. He also got some toe articulation as well. Looks like a shark's mouth. <laughs> I don't know why you need the toe articulation on this guy, but hey, he's got it if you need it. You can see he has a weapon holding hand as well, but no weapons because of the new WB mandate on that. Now, I will tell you all day, this does not beat, in my opinion, the Mattel Dark Knight Returns armored suit Batman. That one is perfect. I absolutely love it. I love that he comes with the gun. He's so chunky. The blues, the grays, he looks like he stepped right out of the comic book, and I love all the folds and details of the suit and the face. You can, however, take this gun and ply it to the McFarlane Toys one, and he will kind of hold it. It's a little bit too small, but you get the idea. In either sense, yes, it's a nice looking different version of the battle suit, but the Mattel one still takes it home. And if you're wondering in terms of the scale of this guy, in terms of McFarlane Toys, yeah, he's around the eight inch mark. So he's a little bit taller than most. In terms of Marvel Legends figures, yes, of course, he's gonna be much taller than that. And if you have the King Shark, we'll just say, yeah, you can see that while he's still bigger, it's still a large armored Batman figure. But if you're wondering, how does he photograph? Well, it is nice. You do get a nice posability out of him, nice textures and everything else. But if I'm being honest, it's more so the look of Zack Snyder's Batman vs. Superman as opposed to Frank Miller's comic book art. It's okay. The figure articulates well. It's well sculpted. Lots of nice little details and you get extra hands. Weapons, some kind of accessories for him to hold or do. 
would have been much appreciated. The fact that he has the weapon holding hand but no gun, again, Warner Brothers just right now saying, oh, we're not going to include any types of guns in our figures. Well, okay, but hey, it would be nice if you did because <laughs> otherwise it just kind of looks cornball. For my tastes, it doesn't really capture the fun of Frank Miller's artwork. It's a little bit humdrum, much like the suit from Batman vs. Superman, which I was not a fan of. I get the idea. Yeah, you're trying to emulate it on the big screen. But in either case, it's just kind of meh. And I would love to see them repaint this with a yellow belt, more blues, light blues, and everything else to better match the comic by which it says it's based off of. But... I am curious to know what you guys think about this new figure. Have you gotten him? Will you be grabbing? Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Batman from The Dark Knight Returns. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, if you've never read the comic, drop what you're doing. Go read it immediately. Or, heck, even go watch the Warner Brothers animated double feature for the adaptation of Batman The Dark Knight Returns. It is amazing. You will not be disappointed. And when you do... Let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.